We're gonna kick off this morning with some shoulder press. Oh. Another workout in the books, pretty solid push day this morning, really focused on chest and shoulders. Wrapping it up, 35 minutes of cardio on the cut. Progress is continuing. We weighed in at 226 pounds this morning, which is outstanding, but we're gonna continue to shred, man. We got some organic sweet potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these bad boys in the oven. They cook really easy, just one hour, 400 degrees. So let's get this party started. I really like to give these things a good, nice wash because they're really freaking dirty. They just got out the ground. But uh, oven's been preheating at 400 degrees. Drop them in. What time is it? It's probably like, what, 1130? So we'll wait till 1230 and they should be perfect. And there they go. Steaming. It is a little bit of a trick when it comes to your sweet potatoes and it all kind of boils down to how long you have them in the oven. You can have them in too long and you can overcook them and they're really hard to eat or you can undercook them and they're hard to eat inside because you haven't cooked it all. So there's like this sweet spot of right about an hour. I'd recommend you give that a try, but you know, always do the field test. Just push them in. Got all the dogs fed some breakfast. See a couple of them in here, a couple more outside. Let's take a peek in here real quick. Just the other day, I came through here, cleaned up all their hay, restocked it. They've already ate a bunch of it and drug out a bunch more. There's a spider web right here. Look who else followed me in here. I'm more worried about one of these big guys hitting the puppies than I am the puppies doing anything to them. Get out of here, guys. They'll beat you up. Come on. What's up, you guys and girls? Y'all be easy, guys. Stop hollering. Let's get up out of here. hood doesn't stay up on its own so we're going to use this two by four to help us out a bit while i was at walmart picked up some 5w20 oil and a new filter yesterday we went through cleaned the positive terminal it was pretty badly corroded also filled the reservoir with coolant got all the tires at the right psi checked all the other fluids the last thing we need to do is give it an oil change and she'll be good to go grab the few tools that i might need in an oil pan that way we can drain all this old oil into it. But I don't think I need to jack his car up. I should be able to get to everything. I can see the filters up in here and the pan is right down here. So it's a 14 millimeter. I can reach it. I'm going to have to loosen it first. It is pretty dirty under here, but all right. I think I got it loosened a bit. I don't want any oil coming out. See if we can catch it all. We're gonna let all that leak out and then we'll get the filter pulled off. Remove the old filter as well, but in order to get underneath here properly and install the new filter, I had to grab the jack. That way we can make sure we seat it in there correctly. We don't need too much, but just enough for me to get underneath here and make sure I seat this new filter properly. We got the old filter in here, still a little bit of oil draining out. New filter needs to go right up there. There's the old oil and filter. I'm getting ready to lower it here in a second. Went ahead, installed the new oil filter. Got the drain plug back on the oil pan. Calls for 5W20, so we're gonna put that. We're using full synthetic in this vehicle.
I put four and a half quarts in it before I let it run. Since I don't pre-fill the filter, it's gonna soak some up. I think I'm gonna have to add about a half a quart. Let's get it fired on. We're gonna let it run for about three to five minutes. Then we'll probably top it off, clean up all the tools, and that's another job done. Let's check the oil again. Looks like it's just about there. Yeah, we might not need to add too much more. That's going to be a wrap. Make sure we closed everything. All the fluids are good. Get the hood closed. Take the car back up to the house. Keep the fleet running good. With the seasons changing, that means a lot of leaves are going to fall. We already have a good bit of them on the ground. I'm going to go ahead and grab the blower, get the yard and the driveway blown off. If I don't get to it now, once they all fall, it's a lot harder to get them taken care of. So we're going to stay ahead of the curve. She loves her bed. We're getting this knocked out. Started working my way down the driveway. The blower needs a refuel out of gas. Thankfully, we got some more mixed gas left. We'll fill it back up and get right back to it. Also grab my headphones. This thing's getting quite loud. And this is where it comes to an end. Went all around the house, up both sides of the driveway. The leaves kind of end here. Took about two tanks of gas and about an hour and a half to get this all done, but it was well worth it. There will be many more leaves to come. After getting the oil changed and blowing all those leaves, let's get some dinner going. I'm sauteing some onions, just threw them in the pan. We're gonna throw a little salt and pepper on top, get it going. Once we eat dinner, we're gonna head outside, get some cardio in. Here go my sauteed onions. Beef is almost there. We're gonna mix it together and enjoy. Mm. Enjoying our dinner, watching the sunset. Another day slowly closing out. I appreciate y'all for watching. We'll see y'all on the next one.